From Caitlyn Jenner to Jamie Lynn Spears, there have been so many celeb books that have gotten the authors into a bit of hot water. I'm Melissa Bellotti, your host, and here are your top 10 tell-all books that got celebs into trouble. In our number 10 spot, we have Kris Jenner and All Things Kardashian by Kris Jenner. When this book came out, it had such hype because it was really during the peak years of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, the TV show, but also it had a little bit of of controversy tied to it. In this book, Kris Jenner speaks about her life, including her affair that broke up her and her late husband, Robert Kardashian, as well as details of what it was like being best friends with OJ Simpson's wife, Nicole Simpson. She gets real candid about how she knew about OJ hurting Nicole throughout the years, which honestly was crazy to hear about. Her book allegedly got her into a bit of trouble with her family though, especially the part when she wrote about her affair and fair enough, that is such a tricky situation and probably a really sad time for the family that I'm sure they didn't want to relive. In our number nine spot, we have It's Not Okay by Andy Dorfman. Andy Dorfman is famously known as being a contestant on The Bachelor and Bachelorette franchises. Her book is so famously titled It's Not Okay after her very famous moment with contestant Juan Paulo, where he continued to tell her that it's okay when she really didn't feel that it was. Her book is an exclusive look into the behind the scenes of her relationships with other Bachelor contestants, Juan Paulo, Nick Vial, and Josh Murray. The book had a lot of controversy when it was released, and specifically, Josh Murray was not happy about it. He went on to comment that she had some not so kind things to say, that she depicted him in such a false way, and that some of the things are just ludicrous. Yikes. Well, Josh, why don't you write a book about your experience and clear that up for us then? Honestly though, that was so long ago, so maybe not. You might have missed the boat with this one. In our number eight spot, we have Life on the Ramona Coaster by Ramona Singer. This book didn't so much get Ramona into trouble as it seemingly just made her more unlikable judging by what reviewers have said. Ramona Singer is a cast member of The Real Housewives of New York and is known for getting into quite a few fights in her time with the other ladies on the show. The show kind of already casts her in a bit of an unlikable light, but apparently she didn't do herself any favors in this tell-all. Apparently the book might have caused some more tension between her and her ex-husband as she wrote about her thoughts on their divorce. But most people just felt uncomfortable reading about her daughter's letter to her father. Some people claimed it to be disturbing and inappropriate. In our number seven spot, we have Down the Rabbit Hole by Holly Madison. Holly Madison is known for dating the famous owner of Playboy magazine, Hugh Hefner. She is also known for starring in the television show, The Girls Next Door, with two of Hugh's other girlfriends. In this tell-all, Holly reveals what it was really like to be a Playboy bunny and live in the mansion with Hefner. After leaving the mansion, they actually did not leave on good terms and apparently never repaired their friendship. After the release of her book, Hefner told People magazine that he believed Holly had chosen to rewrite history in an attempt to stay in the spotlight. Her response to this was that everything she wrote was 100% true and that it's not the version that he would like to tell. Yikes. This book may have gotten her into a little trouble, but I'm personally glad that she wrote it because it was a fun one to read. In our number six spot, we have I Didn't Come Here to Make Friends by Courtney Robertson. All right. I read this one and may I just say, boy does this book have some boiling hot tea with a side sugar cookie. I would not expect anything less of Bachelor alum Courtney Robertson. Back in the day when The Bachelor was in its peak seasons, Courtney Robertson was the most hated contestant I have ever seen on the show. The Bachelor community was unanimous in their decision that they did not like Courtney and I cannot imagine what it must have felt like to be her. Of course, I needed to read her book and try to get into her brain and see what was going through her brain at the time. The book of course had so much backlash as Courtney, who is known for her honesty, spoke about her relationship with Ben Flagnick and how he was not as he appeared on TV. Probably spelt, I probably pronounced his name wrong, but whatever, that's a hard one. She even spoke about her relationship with Entourage star Adrian Grenier and what he was like behind closed doors. It was honestly quite the read. In our number five spot, we have Melissa Explains It All by Melissa Joan Hart. I have to say that Melissa Joan Hart is one of those people that I will just love no matter what because my all time favorite show is Sabrina the Teenage Witch, so. But when Melissa dropped her book, Melissa Explains It All, it caused 
a bit of controversy. People were actually a bit taken aback by her candidness. She revealed in her book that a certain Dawson's Creek star may not have been a great kisser, as well as she spoke about her party days with Britney Spears. So I have to admit that I am a forever Melissa stand, so I may be biased, but in any case, what I find to be a good kiss may be horrible to the next guy. Kissing is so relative, so we as a society should just never take that seriously and we should just see it as proof that you know maybe two people aren't compatible. She needed to have some kind of exclusive for the book, but honestly, she really did the work for her marketing team with that comment, so hopefully she didn't even bother to get a marketing team, because girl boss vibes. <laughs> this number is actually really me just praising Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> I can't help it, I love her. In our number four spot, we have Inside Out by Demi Moore. Demi Moore is known for being a famous actress starring in iconic movies such as Ghost, G.I. Jane, and A Few Good Men. She's also known for the scandal of the early 2000s, her marriage to Ashton Kutcher, an actor that was 16 years younger than her. I remember being a little baby teen and gossiping about this with my friends. It was such a scandal. Anyways, many moons later, long after they divorced in 2011, Demi released her biography about her life and in it she gets quite candid about her relationship with Ashton. She speaks about how at many times their relationship consisted of three people instead of two. If, if you catch my drift. And she talks about how she only agreed to this to keep the relationship going, yikes. Sounds like it was perhaps doomed to end. I don't know, maybe that's just me. This did cause a bit of controversy when it was released, but the dust has settled and the world is now obsessed with Ashton's relationship with Mila Kunis. In our number three spot, we have Drinking and Tweeting by Brandy Glanville. Brandy Glanville is known for being a former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star. Are we really that surprised? that she made it on this list. Gotta love Brandy. <laughs> her relentless honesty makes for such great TV and she's so funny too. I would be terrified to be friends with her, honestly, but I love watching her. In her two books, Drinking and Tweeting and Other Brandy Blunders and Drinking and Dating, P.S. Social Media is Ruining Romance, Brandy gets super candid about her life, people that have hurt her and people that have used her. The books had a lot of backlash, but honestly, that was probably intentional because it definitely was would have made more people go out and buy them. Especially if she spoke about big celebs such as Leanne Rimes. People are going to want to read about these scandals even if they don't watch The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and don't know who Brandy is. So it was probably a tactic, let's be real. In our number two spot, we have The Secrets of My Life by Caitlyn Jenner. Formerly known as Bruce Jenner, the American Olympic athlete, this book is about Caitlyn's life and what it was like to transition into a woman. Apparently when this book was released, it created a lot of tension within the Kardashian-Jenner family. Allegedly, Caitlyn didn't share with her family that she was going to transition, and they learned about the details when she revealed it to the public. Apparently, once again, when she dropped this book, there was a lot of tension in the family as old wounds were brought up, and it caused quite the separation over the years. As of now, though, it really does seem like the Kardashian-Jenner clan have moved into more healing times, and so I think all of that drama is just water under. In our number one spot, we have Things I Should Have Said by Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears is an actress known for her TV show Zoe 101 and known for being the sister of pop star Britney Spears. Earlier in 2002, she released a book and man, did it get her into some trouble. First off, her timing was pretty horrible. Her sister was just coming out of her conservatorship and the nation was cheering her on. And then Jamie drops a book at the same time while all the hype is still going. Brittany called her sister out for the book and accused her of using her and it was not great. Not only did the public jump on hating on Jamie for her poor timing and alleged lies, but also there were some other people that were mentioned in the book that came out of the woodwork to make sure that the public knew that she was lying, such as her former Zoe 101 castmate Alexa Nicholas, who Jamie Lynn allegedly bullied, but yet in her book she spoke of the opposite. This book was just a mess and honestly made her look worse than before she released it, sadly. So there you have it, a list of 10 books you must buy and read pronto. I'm Melissa Mladi, your host. Follow me on Insta and YouTube at Melissa Mladi for more book and celeb talk. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.